Cheers. And tears. They both filled downtown Orlando Saturday evening during the Olympic marathon trials. Now on the men's side, you had Connor Mance and Clayton Young. Two longtime friends and training partners will now be going to Paris together. And on the women's side, you had a 25-year-old Fiona O'Keefe, who is now going to be the new record holder and joining her male counterparts. Fans shared their excitement on Saturday as the top men's and women Olympic hopefuls hit their stride to qualify for the Paris Olympics. This is crazy. I mean, this is it's a once in a lifetime chance to watch. It's definitely a big accomplishment. You know, we've seen some of the people in this race uh, win Olympic medals. Now we must wait until the summer to know who wins gold in Paris, but we don't have to wait to find out who will represent the USA in both the men's and women's side. Now we start things off on the men's side, and that's where we meet teammates and longtime friends, Connor Mance and Clayton Young, who met one another 10 meters away from the finish line when Mance hit his final stride and broke the ribbon to take home first place. I was just trying to get to the finishes um, quick as possible because I thought I might collapse and not finish. Young finished second on Saturday and says if this ending could not have been written better in a book. Yeah, I just wanted to enjoy every single moment at the finish line. Uh, about two miles out, I just knew that we were going to get there together. And even though I might have been feeling better, uh, I just wanted to take every step of the way with Connor. On the women's side, securing her spot in Paris was first time distance runner, 25 year old Fiona O'Keefe, who set the Olympic marathon trial record of two hours, 22 minutes, and 10 seconds. Definitely some nerves kicking in. I started to hear people saying, like, you're going to Paris, you're going to Paris. But I knew there were so many strong women behind me, and I was running scared a little bit. <laughs> Joining the 25 year old Olympic qualifier is Emily Sesson who finished with two hours, 22 minutes, and 42 seconds. And she says she aimed for the top spot, but says early on she knew she didn't have her best stuff. I thought Fiona looked great, so I tried to just keep my eyes on her, and I thought if I just kept running my pace, maybe I could reel her back in, um, and maybe I could pick it up the last like few miles, but uh, I was hurting a bit, and so I was like, just top three, top three, uh, make this team. So yeah, Fiona ran a great race. That's an amazing debut. Reporting to you in Orlando, Kendall Hyde, WPTV, News Channel 5.